came by nothing which is too far-fetched. Reason being is by, we know by definition, inanimacy does not give uh, rise to animacy. It raises good questions like, uh, what's the definition of zero? Yeah. Uh, stuff like that. How do you define zero? What, what, what are its qualities? Represent and stuff like that. Just the same as for singularity, like you say. It's really hard to touch upon that. So really, put my belief and faith in something that I'm just not sure. I don't know if anyone ever will. But so yeah. you can see I think the framework. So I think the framework could be like dig outside other humans. Yeah. Feel about the world that's created us. Like, sure. Yeah. So yeah. we believe that, that best. Let's see, framework is pretty good. Right? So we believe the best devotion to the creator. It's by doing what the creation, what you want. It makes no sense to me. It's created all this for no reason whatsoever. There must be a reason behind it. I mean, something so massive. You know, we got in our known universe, we've got two trillion galaxies. Two trillion. Can you comprehend that? That's only in the known universe. That's it only in the known universe. Okay. So what it suggests then is what I'm saying about you know that basically boundary. Even if we're in a black hole, still the point being there, must be a reason. there are necessity there are necessities within the black hole That's which then saying, necessitate yeah. that where did it come from? Exactly, yeah. It's all it's all moved. It's all moved. So, right, so the only then so this is what you call the philosophy of science. Yeah. Science can only uh, answer yeah. a certain amount there of questions. Precisely, there has to be a, that's a good point. Very good point. Yeah, science can is what is the empirically observable. But whatever happened 13.8 billion years ago is even beyond the comprehension of science. That's where that, philosophy comes. Pardon? That's where philosophy comes. Yes, exactly. So what we then say, the only necess necessary understanding is there is a necessary, there is a necessary existent being beyond the universe who's created the universe. Because the universe is contingent upon parts. So by definition, something has to be un not contingent and necessary in order for the universe not to be within that set of contingent things. I, and it's a bit of a mouthful. I know, but yeah. Yeah, you've got to wrap your head around. That's, that's the thing. But why? But have a, I mean, have a little read of that. See what you think. So we believe God creates the universe. And he's not done it for no reason. There's a reason for our existence. We're not here for no reason at all. And we plop our clogs, and next thing you know, we are, um, you know, we are going to be, um, we're going to be gone from this mortal core forever. We believe we're on this earth once. We will be accountable for our actions. We have to recognize our creator. And then one day we're going to return to that creator who will judge all of mankind. And those who mock that, or make that sound as a fairy story. The fact that we're here in the first place is in itself testifying, and we're here miraculously. There's no way. There's no two ways about that. Pardon? I don't think it's just chance. It's not just chance. I think there's a system in place. There has to be a mechanism. There has to be a person. Yes. Precisely. So therefore, the only then, the only then plausible explanation. Can I give you free Quran in English as well, free of charge? Yeah, go on. Right after the Oh, they're not There you go, my friend. It's a Quran in English, a small little paperback, and the whole all the bit of literature about Islam. Have a read at your own leisure. Nice speaking to you. Take care. Alhamdulillah, nice little conversation with our friend as the cameras are filming away. So he was contemplating some of the points we made. May Allah guide him, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Did you hear Christian? Uh, no, agnostic.